Hey, 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 it's Carrie, and I would love to hear from you. Share your story with us on the platform. You are listening to Camouflaged Beauty, a podcast of shared experiences for military and veteran women. So today I have a platform favorite. You know her very well. She has been here before. My guest today is Sharice Freeman, and this woman is doing so many different things to connect mothers and their daughters specifically. Uh, So Sharice, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be back here again. (laughs) I'm so glad that you're back here with us because what you're doing is important work. Uh, for mothers and for daughters as well, and for uh, people who just need a little bit need a little bit of help or coaching or assistance with growing that important relationship between mothers and daughters. And so you're still running your uh, social media platform and, and a lot of different things, teaching classes, coaching people through this process uh, with the Growing in Love Together platform. How's that going? It's going pretty good. You know, I'm hearing a lot of uh, good feedback from um, a a free five day event that I did. And um, people were just uh, amazed by how much they connected with their daughters in that short amount of time, just based off of the system that I use. Perfect. And so, yeah, like I said, there's always so much stuff available on your on your uh, your social media platform and Instagram specifically. And I love the way that you are absolutely transparent. This stuff is not, um, you know, difficult. It's not heavy. It's it's simple things that you're just trying to coach people, mothers, and help them mm-hmm. along the right way. And with that, I, I've heard that you have a new venture upcoming. And so what are you up to now? I am writing a book and the book will be released as a pre-launch on November 7th for pre-sales. And I'm so excited because the book is a 90-day guide for military moms to um, experience a greater connection with their daughters. And in the 90-day guide, there are simple um daily actions that you can do with your daughter to be able to connect with her on a on a deeper level than just hey how was your day and they say it was good or not so good or whatnot and they don't give you a full answer so what i found is that people tend to say like oh my daughter doesn't talk to me when i say you could talk to me about anything my daughter doesn't talk to me and it's kind of like sticking a batch of cookies into a cold oven. You're not really going to get a baked cookie in that oven because you did not preheat it. And really speaking to your daughter on a daily basis is that preheat portion. And that's what the book goes into. It's, It's literally like a guide. Day one, you do this. Day two, I think the first day is like make her bed. And um, that is part of the foundation of the five love languages that I use as well. And in the five love languages, there's the acts of service, which is make her bed. So each day lists out what you're doing, plus what five, what of the five love languages it's hitting so that you know, like, hey, this is what I'm speaking to today. And we all need all of them, although some are our top priority than others, but having all of them gives that well-rounded love and develop that trust and build that wonderful foundation for the mother-daughter relationship. Absolutely. And and I know that your focus specifically is mother-daughter, but mm-hmm. just having um, a, a theory uh, based in the foundation of the five love languages between a parent and a child I would yes. argue that this is something that you could use with any child, right? Yes, 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 most definitely. I um, I say that a lot when people ask me, like, is it just for moms with daughters? Because I have sons. And it's like, yes, I, I, the mother-daughter is so dear to my heart because when I was in the military, I was um, sexually assaulted and conceived. So my daughter, I, I didn't know how to really connect with her in a way that that I wanted wanted to like a better relationship than I have with my mom so I 
got out of the military because I'm like, okay, I can't really think about 5,000 things plus try to connect with her in the way that I want to. And what I want to encourage moms in the military is that there is this guide is there for you. You can do these daily tasks. There's everything except for one thing is from like five minutes to 30 minutes. And there's like a one, like a grand finale. And um, that's about two hours, but it's really not like this long process every single day. And if I knew about this when I was in the military, I would have stayed in because I love I love the Air Force. I really did. And my focus was, hey, I need to get out and be more focused on my daughter and our relationship. So that's that's what I that's why it's dear to my heart is the mother daughter, because I didn't have it. And then realizing that I really needed my mom. Like I really did. And I needed her on a deeper level than just, hey, mom, I'm joining the military. Hey, mom, I moved to this base. You know, I really wanted to talk to her about all the things. And she always told me I could talk to her about anything. But I really didn't feel like that because I didn't talk to her on a daily basis or connect with her on a daily basis in a way that spoke to me. So, yeah, no. And and that's extremely important as you try to build that relationship, especially in that uh, military mother relationship, right? Where we understand um, that a part of the job requires you to be away from home. And and sometimes every time that parent comes back home, you're almost restarting, right? Yes. And so you leave this door open like, yeah, you could talk to me about everything. And this kid is like, but you're never really here. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And for me, it was hard to turn that off and on. You know, when I got back, I, I just didn't want to experience all that hurt again by leaving. So I was like, I don't know how to deal with, hey, I want to connect with you all over again just to leave in six months, you know? So mm-hmm. this will keep that connection going in a, in a very, in a one that, in a way that presents it with ease and nothing that's laborious or at all. Yeah, yeah. And so your book, the pre-launch is on 7 November for everyone mm-hmm. out here listening that would be interested in getting getting your hands on on this uh, this product that will be beneficial to your family, not just in the short term, but the long term focus of uh, building that relationship. Um, and, and so tell us about that process. What what did this do for you and your relationship with your daughter as you went through the process of writing this book? So she is the um, illustrator of the book. So nice. um, that's one thing that we've experienced. Just our um, connection has grown and I continue to grow in the relationship. That's why it's called Growing in Love Together because it's not a, hey, this 90-day guide is going to fix everything. No, it's going to ch- show you a path that works for the both of you and you can move through and have that connection And there are so many things that I see that come up that are like, I made her bed the other day and she didn't jump in to try and like help or do it herself. So that's one thing that I'm trying to teach her is like, hey, let's, you know, you can lean on me for things. You don't have to like do it yourself. And that simple act of me making the bed and her releasing that to me to be able to make it is a huge deal. Because she does everything by herself. She tries to do everything by herself. And we're trying to teach her, hey, we're here for you. That's mm-hmm. that's what the message that I want to send. And these daily actions are simple. And I always say they're simple and not easy. Because they're not always going to be easy. It's not easy for me to ba- make her bed. She's 15 going on 16, you know. But when the book comes out, it's her birthday. November 7th is when her birthday is. And um, it's not easy to make her bed because she should know how and she knows how to do it, you know. But it's that simple act that shows her that I love her. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So so you've basically these are not just theories, but these are theories that you have practiced as well within your own life and your family with your own daughter. How was her response just in a general level overall? (laughs) How's her response been? Because listen, she's a whole teenager and they're, you know, they they have their (laughs) own mind and emotions. And it's a lot that comes along with a teenage girl. (laughs) <laughs> Why yes. are you even in my room? <laughs> the right. <first> question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, her response overall is um, accepting. So it's not like I always try and keep in my mind, especially at this age that she's at, 
It's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. And that's the um, slogan that I use all the time is remove the you in guilt and grow and love together. G-I-L-T. Because the minute that you're like, maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe this, maybe she thinks this. She doesn't. She's thinking about herself. She's not even, it's not even about you, especially in the teen years. It is Mm -hmm. all about them. Mm -hmm. So whatever they're going through, just know it's not about you, like seriously. So if she doesn't want me to make her bed, oh, well, okay, well, I'm. this is what I'd like to do for you. And they don't want to make it themselves. Who wants to make their bed? You know, they want to make for them. So they're going to let you. So her response is accepting. She doesn't necessarily like say, get out of my room or anything like that. And if I, if I felt like she would, I would say, hey, you know, the night before, would you like me to make your bed in the morning for you? And if she said no, then I would say, okay, well, let me know in the morning if you change your mind. Mm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. You're, yeah, so you're basically <laughs> also not, and, and this is, I think that is key in, in what you just explained, right? So you're offering her this gift, uh, this yes. act of service, act of kindness. I would like to mm-hmm. do this for you, but you're mm-hmm. also giving her a choice. By yes. asking her what it is that mm-hmm. she would like if if she's okay with you being her room, being in her space or doing this for you, allowing her mm-hmm. to know that she still has a choice in, in what impacts her life, even if something as simple as making her own bed, which is awesome, yes. Yes. you know, that's and that's going to help her too with the the critical thinking out this process like whoa, she wants to make my bed? <laughs> do, I, do I let her? Do I not let her? What is in this for me? You know, yeah. I can see her wheels turning right now. Like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> how many times can I get him to do this for me? Because you're right. <laughs> Seriously, who wants to make their bed? I don't want to make my own bed, right? <laughs> And if you're like me and don't like to hear the word no, because I mean, I'm always afraid she's going to say no. So I give her two choices that don't involve a yes or a no. Mm. Would you like me to make your bed when you leave for school or while you're here already? You know, mm. like just give her those two that kind of lead her to you still making the bed mm-hmm. and she's still making a choice. You know, you're not mm-hmm. stepping in on anything and she has her space still. No, I think that's absolutely amazing. And so for her for her birthday, do you have this book being uh, pre-released on November 7th for her birthday, which I think is an, an amazing gift for a lifetime. It keeps giving. It's out there forever. It's in writing as she gets older, even if she doesn't have a, a full appreciation of it right now as a teenager, mm-hmm. right? Because again, yeah. it's all about her. Yes. <laughs> We're in her world, let's be honest, yes. right? So. <laughs> Even though she may not have a full appreciation of it right now, this is something that's timeless that she too could use with her own daughter in the future. How Mm -hmm. amazing is that to create a generational guide of sorts to benefit relationships between that mother and daughter so we can transform these relationships going forward and bring, you know, build a healthier family unit. Yes, yes, yes. And I want to tell your listeners something really fun. And that is that the pre-launch is on her birthday, November 7th. And the actual launch is on my birthday, December 17th. So it goes with the mother-daughter theme. (laughs) That is absolutely amazing. And so explain to us what happens in the pre-launch process and how we can support you and your daughter and and how uh, I can get my hands on this on this guide. Um, you would go to my link in my bio on Growing in Love Together on Instagram and um, sign up for my email list. And it will you'll get the email early in the morning saying, "Hey, this is the pre-sale." So uh, you go ahead and and buy it. And there's going to be a surprise for those who take part in the pre-sale. Well, I, listen, I like surprises when I'm buying stuff. It always sounds like I'm getting more than I should be really getting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is even a greater incentive for everyone listening to go on out to her Instagram page, which is Growing in Love Together, and find mm-hmm. her, find that link, and check out uh, the the email listing. Add yourself to that so you will not miss the opportunity when this book 
pre-launches on 7 November 2021. What a great gift to give your daughter, give your family, and truthfully as yourself to just watch you grow in this process, um, you know, from active duty to not, but mother <laughs> throughout the whole process. It's been an amazing journey on the outside looking in to watch you grow. So I'm so glad that you decided to come back to the Camouflage Beauty platform and to share this information with the mothers out here listening who are very much in need of something like this to help grow that relationship with their children. Yes, 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 I agree. I love it. I love it. And we love what you're doing. And so before we let you go, is there anything that you want to pass on to our listeners today, whether it's about your book or just this process of of, of if your term of guilt? Yes. Um, I want to just reference you're asking, like, what's her response to these things? So the response varies by whatever year that they're in. So in the process of me doing this, because I've been connecting with her intentionally since 2000. 13, something like that. And so through the process, it, it has changed how I approach her, what things that I ask. And there's more digging that comes when it when they're a teenager because they have so many other outside influences, right? You got the social media, you got the people at school and friends and everything like that. So really just recognizing what stage that she is in you have that lovable stage, that 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 tiny baby, and then you get the toddler who's running around touching everything, you know, and just recognizing, hey, they're in this stage right now. If they're a toddler, you can just say, hey, you want to clean this up right now or in five minutes, you know, like that's, mm -hmm. there's no, no, you know, you just let them, then they can, they pick and you set the timer and really be impeccable with your word. If I were to say, hey, you want me to make your bed now or when you leave for school and I don't make that bed and she comes home, that destroys mm -hmm. the trust. Mm -hmm. So really be impeccable with your word. If you can't do something, that things happen, right? But just come back and apologize for that. Make a plan to move forward because you're not always going to get it right. But when you show that humility and say, hey, you know, I, I messed up and I'm sorry. Would you like me to do this or that? And that teaches them a whole new lesson in, in accepting and being responsible for their own actions. When you mm -hmm. don't apologize, it just makes it seem like, everybody's supposed to just get over it, which then they have that sense of entitlement. Oh, it's just me. This is just how I am. No, own up to your mistake and we can move forward together. So this book is teaching, we're, we're touching on the five love languages, choices, accountability, and, and love and communication on so many different levels uh, between that mother and daughter relationship. I, I think that's amazing what it is that you're doing. And so Again, I just want to say thank you so much for coming back to the platform and for joining us and for letting everyone get a piece of this uh, treasure, right? A treasure that maybe I'll buy my mama one because listen, you're never too old. <laughs> you're never too old, seriously. <laughs> Mom, this is what you needed 30, 20 something, 20 something years ago, <laughs> you know? But yeah, this is yeah. something that I think too, maybe would be a great thing for uh, grandparents to use yes. as well as they mm -hmm. may not have had the best relationships with their own children, right? So yeah. this can expand so many different generations. And like I said, it it becomes a timeless foundational piece uh, for that family unit that's growing together. Yes, that's my mission is to change the generations. Like that, there's just been so much as far as my family and the people that I've encountered that say they don't have a good relationship with their mom and their mom's mom didn't with their mom. And we need mother-daughter, strong mother-daughter foundations. We really need them in this world. So, yeah. Yes. No, I, I totally support that and love exactly what it is that you're doing. Cherise, as always, thank you for joining us on the platform and you are free to come back anytime. We'll keep our eyes on you on your Instagram page of Growing in Love Together. And we'll continue to watch what it is that you're doing as you provide coaching and just guidance to help that parental unit grow. Thank you. Until next time.
拜拜。